and that is for the Steam World Collection, most notably, though, Steam World Heist. Why don't you guys just go straight into it, and what is Steam World Heist? All right. <clears throat> so I'm Brian with Image and Form, and this uh, Steam World Heist is a game uh, about uh, stream driven, steam driven uh, robot pirates in space. Of course, That's exactly like why, would, yeah. why wouldn't it be? Oh yeah, so it's they've sort of frozen in time, and they're not too clever, but they're quite quite funny actually, and they have personality. And um, what you do in this game is you 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 ride around in your mother's ship, and uh, you uh, act as a smuggler or a pirate in the beginning. Yeah. So it starts out quite simple. I think you believe that's what you're going to do, but in the end, you actually have to save the world. <laughs> and so you play as Piper Faraday, this. Um, Steam-driven robot captain. She is uh, she's brave and um, and a very very cool captain. So now you're moving around in your home ship here, and uh, there are your characters. You can talk to them. Does this ship stay with you throughout the game? It does. Yes. So it doesn't explode or anything. It's, yeah. it's a total spoiler, of course. But yeah, your 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 home ship is always safe because all the action takes place in enemy ships. Like you board enemy ships, and then you. Uh, uh, and, and that's where the action is. So this is how you move about in the game. They, you have like a, a space map, and uh, you go... What, what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, raid an enemy ship and do a heist. That's what we oh, call yeah. it, steel heist. Then we're going to kill, uh, kill everyone uh, uh, on board, hopefully. It's a, it's a peaceful, peaceful game, but yeah, it's... Uh, so you can always choose from your loadout, but these are items th that you unlock throughout the game? That's right. So in the beginning of uh, each mission, you, uh, uh, you go to a loadout screen, and there you set the weapons and so on. And you have like a set of three, is it always three of your crew members that go with you? And no, actually, all the missions are like from one to four characters, and you control all of them in a single-player mode. And so, yeah, now... Now we can see that Filippo is sort of selecting the hats. I've never here. seen it's this hat. I'm really, I'm really because like, I, I, I played it on the 3DS. And, like, Most really important part of the space pirate. Right, hats are really important to steam driven robots. Maybe you didn't yeah. know that, but it's yeah. like religion to them. Crucial. So it's uh, it's really crucial. Yeah, I think oh, we should course. just get started. So the the game is turn based, as you should see. It's what you do when you move about. Yeah, it's sort of like you have two action points, like one. You can either like choose to walk one distance and then shoot, or like walk two distances, so to speak. You'll notice like the yellow range here is, if you stay within the yellow range, you'll be able to end your turn with a shot. Mm -hmm. And if you walk into the blue range at the bottom there, it's like you would actually, uh, you wouldn't be able to shoot afterwards. Okay. And uh, now Piper, she has opened this hatch here. We don't really know what's down there because every time you go to a mission in this game, it is, it's completely new. It's, oh, it's randomized. it's procedurally generated? It's procedurally generated. I didn't want to say that yeah. because it's so long and difficult. <laughs> but yeah, it's random. <laughs> and uh, which is quite cool because that means that um, every time you play this game, it's going to be different. And you and me, we can't really discuss tricks yeah. or how to solve a level and so on. That's. But you, you get in and you can take cover as well. That will save you a bit from that. Yeah, enemy attacks, as we yeah. just saw. That's yeah. right, yeah. And now this bastard Napoleon uh, lookalike is uh, coming down with a crowbar, and he's he's pretty mean, actually. So I think uh, Piper is going to take a shot here. So she draws her gun, and you can see there is a is a scope on it, right? Yeah. yeah. And it's so you like can bounce shots like that. Uh, yeah, you can do that. Oh, that's oh, sweet. Yeah. Oh, I should also say that these are robots, so you're not really hurting them. You're just taking them out of, of course, service. They don't of feel course. pain. There's no pain. It's only love in the in the world of robots. Only love for space pirates. Right. Well, except maybe Sally, the one with the crazy hat. She is um, she's quite aggressive. Yeah. She w grew up on a moisture farm in space and uh, had to sort of fend for herself. Okay. And also you somehow have to explore the spaceship that you're heisting, basically. So yep. you, you don't see everything at once, but you just have to go to the doors and see what's behind that. That's right. You can also call up a map if you needed to, to sort of see what is, what is where. Mm -hmm. But do yeah. Do the enemies see you? if you're within range or only if you're within their vision? If they will see you if you are inside an open space together with them. So okay. if a door have, has been opened, they will know that you are there. So you can still, like, those guys up above don't know that you're there and they won't go down the ladder. They will. If, oh, yeah, they will? Most definitely, right. Oh. So whatever you can see, the enemies can see, basically. Oh, right. Okay. So, uh, 
So now uh, Filippo is, is playing quite defensively, right? You can um, sort of tell that this is not how I would have played it. But yeah, it's it's interesting though. It's like uh, I'm used to the later parts of the game. <laughs> maybe that's why, because I'm like. <laughs> That's cool, though, that you can have like different types of play styles. There isn't just one way to play the no, game. No, there, there's exactly the way you want to play it. Like sometimes you need to be defensive. Uh, like you, if you have to pull back, if they're really getting going after you, they're because you can open a door and there's like there can be eight enemies in there. Obviously, the game is balanced. I mean, there are five difficulty levels in this game, so even I can, I can manage, right? Yeah. And but, how many ships or levels do you have to be to like win the game? It's, I think, um, it's around, um, I would guess around 50 or okay. something like that. Wow. It's divided up on three worlds and with distinct, different sort of um, style and also uh, story going with, like, as the story sort of unravels, you run into new factions and so on. So SteamWorld has its base of the SteamWorld Dick universe, is it? Yeah, that's right. I, it's a, so we made, the Steam collection consists of two games. It's SteamWorld Dick which is our old award, old, I should say, <laughs> a few years old, uh, award-winning game, um, which is now out on all platforms. Okay. And um, Steel Dig is a radically different game from this. But yeah, they share the same universe. So SteamWorld is a world of steam-driven robots. Yeah. And we have just decided that SteamWorld can contain any type of game. And that's what we wanted to prove with SteamWorld Heist, by making a radically different, but, even greater game. So Steamwell Heist is, um, shouldn't be saying this in front of Nintendo, but yeah, it, it scored higher than, than the other Nintendo titles on the eShop last year. So yeah. <laughs> when is this going to be available to the public? So it's coming out on the Wii U uh, on, uh, at the end of September, uh, both digitally and physically. So uh, yeah, it's uh, Nintendo of Europe are being very kind to us, and they are uh, distributing the game in, in Europe. You're welcome. And thank you, thank you. And uh, so, yes, yeah, so we're very excited about that. It's oh, coming nice. just by, at the end of the month to Wii U. So this is the single player campaign, so we're moving on from ship to ship and trying to conquer more and more ships. That's right. And what you do also at the, at the end of each mission, you sort of, you get a, a loot screen. What did you collect? You can see these bags of things lying around. You want to pick them up and it's, many of them contain water, which is the currency, obviously, since they're steam driven robots, right? Yeah. But um, Lot, very many of them contain other goodies. The thing is also in the game, if you manage to shoot off a hat, can you do that, Filippo? Yeah, I'm, I was trying. I was oh, just okay. not very good at it. No, okay, no. Yeah, a little bit higher. A little bit higher. There. Do it. Great. Ooh. So what you do in the game, you okay. collect... <laughs> it. As I said, I mean, Steam Dream robots are crazy about hats, but apparently Steam World Heist players are also crazy about hats. So we're... we're going to release a lot more hats for this game. Do each of the hats have like unique stats or are they random every time? I was going to say, isn't it enough? Isn't beauty enough? Oh, you yeah. said right. Right. Oh, like, I, I don't <laughs> understand yeah, the question either. Like, it's hats. Right. I, I should say that there are more than 100 hats are in the fedoras? game. So it would be... Do you guys have fedoras yes. as well? Yes. Oh, Actually, wow. I think we have like Such three or four me. different I mean, fedoras. Right? Yeah. So uh, it, it's got... Uh, it would be so... It would become so complex. Like yeah. if 100 hats had different... Sort of, um, What's uh, your favorite hat? My favorite hat is... Um, oh, that's... I, uh, I love so many... There are so many references. So there's one hat with a reference, with a really nice reference to, uh, to Blade Runner, the movie. I, I really like that one. Okay, is there, is there like a hidden achievement or anything when you collect all the hats in the game? Is that possible or is that like the 100% that you have to put in? You get the that's, extra ending. <laughs> that's right. I mean, if, if you collect all hats, yes, there is isn't. Obviously, there is an achievement for that. And uh, if you collect also like subsets of hats in the game, like... Uh, I think this is mostly a hat game. This isn't even a robot oh, yeah, game. Yeah, definitely. It's like totally, a, it's a hat simulator disguised as a turn <laughs> robot game, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I wasn't being clear you about that. You doubled your profit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right. All right. Thank you guys so much. Is there anything you want to add of any of the games that we've gone over in the past hour of the, the viewers so that they get, uh, can know where to find these games, anything extra? Sure. So, uh, SteamWorld Collection is coming out all over the world. It's like uh, Nintendo is distributing it for us in Europe, and uh, Rising Star Games is going to do it for us in the US. So, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, 
And I think the price is at uh, 24.95 euros, yeah. Oh, so Gentlemen, anything that you want to add and want these viewers to know? No, I mean, I would just really honor that uh, two of my favorite indie developers uh, that uh, we have uh, uh, helping us at Nintendo join me to show these games. I mean, those are amazing games, all of them. Uh, and, um, and I was just glad to be here and glad to be with you guys at Twitch. Oh, well, thank you we guys love so to much. have you as well. Thank you so much. And thank you to all the viewers for watching us and watching this segment on Nintendo. We will be right back after.